Well, ladies, shents and teddy bears, what an absolutely gorgeous evening it is here. A whole beach air weapons range, a place to bring your aircraft to blow up and shoot stuff. So I noticed there is a, uh, a NOTAM um, for about now until about nine o'clock this evening. I can't just straighten myself up there now. A little bit on the old wobble there. <laughs> so yes, we're back here at Old Beach Air Weapons Range. There is a NOTAM. The flags are still up and uh, there's a NOTAM between five and nine. Um, can't remember if it's Zulu or local, but either way, it's still all good. Nothing's come yet. So scanners on. At this time of the, um, this, this time of the day, at Hull Beach Air Re Weapons Range, usually get Chinooks or Ospreys or Apaches or, or anything else rotary. So you don't often get um, f fast jets this time of the hour. I mean, I say that only because Coningsby are not on, they're not on nights, they're on days, so they would have finished their training. Lake Neath, I would have thought, had finished by now as well. So we don't know unless something has been booked separately, but obviously we don't know that sort of information. So we are hoping to be here for a couple of hours, two hours let's say. I'm just going to double check the NOTAM. So yes, welcome to Hull Beach Air Weapons Range, a place to bring your aircraft to blow up and shoot stuff. And we're hoping, fingers crossed, we may get some rotor reaction. It's not sort of information I know, it's just um, from what seems to be the case during this time of the hour. Like I said, because Coningsby's finished their training for now. and. Uh, yeah, well, you know, there's still uh, Odium, we've got Mildenhall, and we've got Wattisham, um, Benson, anything else like that. So we're going to see, unless there's Marham, maybe they're on nights, but I can't see them using fast jets at night, but that would be pretty cool. That would be something, wouldn't it? Uh, not a lot to see, it would just <laughs> a lot of noise and, uh, and stuff. So yes, so we're here at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range, like I said, a place to bring your aircraft to blow up and shoot stuff. And uh, yeah, the flags are still up. We'll talk our way around. I hope you enjoyed part one of the day. Um, we didn't really know until we just checked the NOTAMs and there was like a, an extra slot for an evening. It can happen because um, the, the way it stands between, well, since the 1st of May, I think it was, until um, 1st of September, or just the uh, the day before, so the end of August. Wow, it's coming up already. They are literally nine, in the morning, so near 0900 until 1600 local, okay? And no nights. But from the 1st of September, um, there will be the Tuesdays and the Thursdays until 2200 hours. So this is pretty cool, right? And you usually, this is only just from what we've seen, is that Rotary will usually come along like Chinooks, Apaches, and Wildcats will come uh, and use the range for some night action as well. So really, really nice. Uh, the winds calm down just a little bit, not too much. Near a, like a Kestra or a kite or something else. I'm not sure. Sounds good though. I'm sure you bird experts will be correcting me there. How we all doing? How we all feeling? I hope you enjoyed the show. So the first first part of the show, we had four, uh, five uh, fast jets. We had the F-15 doing a show of force. Then we had the two typhoons, reasonably high. Uh, doing their strafing and of course we had two gorgeous F-35As from RAF Lake and Eve doing uh, some uh, strafing as well. All dry, no live ammo, apart from perhaps the F-15, I'm going to check the footage, I didn't get a chance to, uh, the F-15 possibly dropped some uh, dummy bombs over the target over there, so we'll have to have a look at that during the footage. So yeah, hope you're all good, uh, let's just have a little nose, see what's going on, hope we're all good and happy. Give you a little tour around. It is an absolutely stunning place. If you just joined us, there's the flags that are dotted around the building to the left. There, they're, they're like lookout posts. They're actually quadrants, and they they keep a lookout for. Uh, they actually do. They're getting more involved in the scoring. There is no runway at RAF Hull Beach Air Weapons Range, but there is a helipad, which we will show you now, and of course. Uh, number of targets that are dotted around. We'll, I'll give you a tour of the targets as well. And uh, big shout out to everyone in Tower, Hull Beach Tower, oi oi, Hull Beach Tower, keeping it safe, keeping it sweet and neat. And of course, you know how we do it, we'll, we'll do our usual safeguarding and uh, housekeeping rules. Yep, so when the range is active, there is a, like I said, there's a number of flags dotted about. There's another one just. Uh, on my kit in the way you know what I mean so yeah um, at night there will be there is also like a warning light 
um, as well on top of them a red light for of course if they're night flying you might not be able to see the flags please do not enter the range uh, when it's active and we'll talk about that so the village behind me is Gedney Drove End stunning place and that's what you're looking for uh, there is a little bit of parking very restrictive um, but I'll talk to you about that so you've got parking down there and you can just take a, a little three minute walk down to here and, when, and there is room for about three carefully parked vehicles just there now treat that barrier there like a crash gate you know the rules please do not block it at all now those cars there those vehicles there are not blocking it there's a little almost like a lay-by parking area um, where you can park your car or vehicle safely please do not obstruct that red barrier now the this little path here it goes towards me and to the left and well depends when you go to the barrier you can take a left or right if you take a right no worries it's a public footpath if you take a left again public footpath there are some barriers here um, they will come down if there are helicopters to land now treat this this ridge bit with all the signs dotted around as your marker that is the limit do not cross that at all that you'll be entering the range and uh, yeah you'll be told off uh, so please do not go onto the range when it's active if you have little ones or, or pets please keep them on a lead or at least oh, I see children now they're usually on a lead sometimes aren't they they have those little child runs but what I'm saying is that please you know do supervise children especially when it's actually active with all sorts going on um, because they can fire live rounds it's as simple as that it is an air weapons range and we're lucky enough to have this so close to us now I've said this before as well if you are planning to come here on a weekend when the range is closed I strongly advise not to go onto the range anyway it is something boggy marshy something out of Lord of the Rings it is a hazard still it is what it is please do I, I really strongly advise not to do it it's very swampy boggy whatever it is it's just like those mines I forgot the uh, I forgot the name of it from Lord of the Rings but I really really and you know what it reminds me of Western Supermare because the the sea level or the estuary at least the water level can come right up to here it does actually come right up to here as well so again and you're looking you know you're looking at potentially stepping or coming across ordnance I just wouldn't you know please do not touch it it is MOD property so I just thought I'd get that out of the way as well anyway look at this I think we can actually see some lovely bit of land there look at that Hun Stanton hello pretty cool huh so I don't know if anything's gonna come we have no idea which <laughs> I just seen the no term and I thought right let's take a little risk between sort of now and nine see what happens of the targets probably go start here I guess target 9 which oh what are these guys doing okay so target 9 the merchant ship clearly seen better days I think it's called Peter's Folly, I think it is. Small ship target. Or is that target eight? I totally forgot that. Just about to see target eight just here. Looks a bit emotional. There's target eight. Gonna go backwards. And then you've got a couple of barges, target seven, and then you've got is that the heavy bomb target, target six. I'm just having a look at this website. 
not too sure about that. Got, this is another target. It looks to be like the heavy bomb target, distinguished by a series of 30 foot tall stakes. So that's target, this one's target five. targets over here as well so you will kill you will hear the, the, the pilots call out the targets as well and just behind the tower is a sort of strafing target as well um, we won't be able to see it from here there's another one there another target Keeping eyes out, out, eyes in the skies out for sort of, for sort of uh, Mildon Hall or Odium, anything coming along. Any Apaches? Oh, hello. <laughs> or the sky, if you want to have a look at the sky. Let me catch up with you anyway, see how we're all doing. Don't forget to hit the like, do support the channel because it does help. ready as well. That's sweet and neat. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your super chat. It means so much. You know, we come back to try and bring you the very best military aviation. We are a sole military aviation channel. We don't do any of the domestic or commercial civilian. We just do military. That's what we are about. Thank you so much, Margot. Guards March for you. It's a splendid evening. Thank you very much, Margot. A little bear hug there for you. Right, let's catch up with all of you. How are we all doing? Mr. Chicken, how are you doing? Watching from Germany. How's it all going? Davey from Northumberland. Mordor, yeah. It is like the mines, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Mr. Tibbles, hello. Margot, of course, thank you so much. Chris Bloxham, thank you so much. Thanks so much, man. Gaza, what's going on? Talk to me, Gaza. Love the weather reports, thank you so much. <laughs> Anthony Mortimer. Yeah, it was born there. It was my place of birth, that. That's on Superman. Dr. Soda, how you doing? 
have a nice chill out with you regardless if anything comes and brrr. yeah of course um if we do get rotary they will use live rounds so that's all good i'm um, just trying to keep a look out for those fishing boats that were out there earlier because obviously they uh like i said rotary they do use live god who remembers that apache live stream when they fired rockets i have never seen that in my life man that was unbelievable that uh bal how you doing good after good evening shall we say to you Daniel Walker, oi oi, TCS and Nikos, thanks very much, evening to all members. Um, I went home actually uh, between when we finished our first stream and here, I've just shipped out all orders, every single order apart from any that come today. Uh, if you're feeling in need of retail therapy, don't forget to visit the Ted Coningsby online store. Oh yeah, so uh, Daniel's, that's reminded me, I've just shipped yours. Uh, Rebecca, how you doing? Watching from Wales, how you doing there, darling? Span of flight, oh, evening to you. Got to get used to that because it's not long now for the uh, September to come when we can come here on Tuesdays and Thursdays for some late night action. I do miss those very much. Katie Webber, how you doing? Ah, oh, bugs me when it does that. My chat just refreshes and I lose quite a lot of history. But anyway, no worries. Can you share the membership link? please right so the link is in the description or if you click the join button you should be able to see a join button but of course there is a link Robert Pimlock how are you doing just shipped your order as well thank you very much yeah we had five fast jets today one f-35 uh, sorry one f-15e strike eagle two f-35s and two typhoons Ed Custard, how you doing as well? John Griffiths, oi oi! Tiger Dragon, how you doing as well? Paul Masterton, looking a bit upset there, is he alright? Have I ever been on a donkey at Western Cool I was born there. <laughs> I think, uh, actually, I, I'll never forget it, it scared the hell out of me. Um, my donkey was called Lightning. Yeah, it took off like a lightning, literally. Nick Panayo, do you're welcome. Thank you for bringing us more aviation. Of course, that's what we do. I'm full time doing this. Yeah, 262 watching and 16 likes. What is going on? Right, you know, I'm gonna have to cancel the stream because that's not enough likes. That is not enough to keep me going. I'm doing this full time. Come all this way. Come on, hit the like. These are your orders from our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Come on, bring it. Uh, Jonathan McDee, thank you so much for gifting Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you so much. Guards March for you. It's got that strong, sort of marshy smell. Thank you so much. Mark Meadows, Beachcomber Bloke, how you all doing? I hope everyone is well. Amy Coburn, woohoo! Uh, I don't think you'll be working now, Amy, surely. Paul Reason, evening to you. Evolve today, Rick Lee, how's it all going? Armored Otters, how you doing? I haven't seen you for a while on here. Hope you're well. Chris Bloxham, oi oi, fellow Reggie of Reggie's fans there. Hope you're all good. Ollie's training game and how you doing? Army Corps helicopter just took off from uh, a disclosed location, heading this way slowly. You never know. Call signs, machete, that kind of thing. Yeah, Margo did a classic, brilliant poem there. Jonathan McDee, on the island of Barra in Scotland, there's a wee cafe called uh, Kissimal. It does the best fish curry I've ever tasted. That sounds amazing. Fish curry, that sounds proper good, that. Making dinner while watching this salmon tray bake. Ted would enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Come on, start hitting that light, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Keep the stream, keep the dream. Come on, you can do it. How are we doing? 19.22, so we've still got an hour and 40 minutes for the range closer. I'll just double check if that's uh, local or Zulu. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Something just checked in.
now. Let me just check. My comms has gone weird today. It's not doing as it's told. That was the whole beach priority frequency. I think that might be just aircraft overhead. I don't think that's for checking in. in the sky. We'll just have a quick nose. We do have an Osprey. We have an Osprey. Ladies, gents and teddy bears, come on. Are you watching this, ladies, gents and teddy bears? We have an Osprey from Mildenhall on its way. Can you see it on your ADSB tracker? Come on. Rob Kennard, thank you so much. You legend, Rob Kennard. Oh yeah, you guys, here we go, come on. We're gonna get an Apache, our first Apache live on the Ted Coningsby channel. Apache, what am I on about? An Osprey, what am I talking about? Sorry, rewind. We're gonna get an Osprey, CV-22 Osprey. Come on, from RAF Mildenhall, United States Air Forces in Europe. Now these guys are special ops, man and they carry a lovely 50 caliber minigun, I think it is. Let me just double check on uh, what we're gonna expect here. Knife, seven two, call sign. Now, they aircraft cannot come into the range willy-nilly, as they say. They need to check in. They cannot just come in and start blowing up and shooting stuff. They need to, to communicate with tower. They need to just mention how many uh, persons are on board. They need to know everything. They can't just come in. They need to know what they're carrying, as in armament, persons on board. You'll hear that as POB. And then they'll be given a squawk code, 7002. Let's just check the current squawk code at the moment. See, can you see that? It's squawking 7,000 at the moment. I don't know if you can see that. Mm, 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 mm. There you go. Remember I told you about the conspicuity code, 7,000. And before it checks in, it has to do that because it's about always look out for that. It's a really good sign to let you know that there's something coming. This is so exciting, man. Knife 7-2. Oh, I can see ya. <laughs> Get ready. Knife 72, Hull Beach. Look at this. <laughs> I am buzzing because it's like I've been meaning to get you an Osprey for ages. The wind is now blowing towards us. Now that's gonna be a major factor um, because that is gonna enhance the sound.
So, like I said, Can that. Op this, uh, I did not work. So the Osprey, the team in the Osprey, cannot enter the range. Did you did you notice that there was no communication with Tower? You know they, you know, just saying. What if they go toilet or anything like that? They cannot enter this range. That's why it's safe. They they can't just do anything they want to. They have to um, even be cleared before firing. So what we're looking out for is the words hot. Hot means live ammunition will be fired. Okay. Rob Kennard, thank you so much for that super chat. You guys are just the best, and look what we try and bring you. I don't live far from here, so it's all good. If you hear dry, that means no actual firing. We'll commence. It'll just be pretend, but let's have a look. These guys have got a reputation. These are special operations group. Code, score code 7002. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> it's been told to leave. Just tone down the shutter speed just a little bit, just to make it a little bit smoother on the uh, on the props, on the rotors.
Requesting hot. Can we do one more drive past, please? Uh, on my radar, it's got about three quarter correction, about half a mile to go. We will do one more pass. Thank you. One more pass. Ian, thanks for that. How's that? Is that better? I've just realised what had happened. Sorry, I just had a bit of a tech issue there. It's fine, nothing, nothing major. I just remembered I had a screen at 720 and punching out a 1080, so it wasn't quite going to fit. Is that uh, Ian? Talk to me, man. Is that better? Bear with me a second, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Let's get back on. Should be better on your screen now. I just realised. There we go. This is going to be nice and low. I'll tell you what. Seven two is cleared. Hot. All passes. Negative RT is approved. Report complete with number of round five and also in the have a good malfunction. Seven two is cleared. Hot. Ted Connie Speak Channel live here at RAF Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. Have we got an Osprey from RAF Mildenhall? Come on. Cleared hot in all aspects. All passes hot.
Yeah, I, uh, I knew I'd forget to change the uh, canvas on there. I thought it was all good, actually. Never mind. little quick stream there just to get you the action although I do need to just check, make sure I switch it back so the uh, I don't know what's happened there with the framing no worries let me just put a little Hi guys, I'm Nikos from the Ted Coningsby crew. to get that sorted in the end um, all good learning new things Teddy bears, I am done. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though. Just stay on here. I'm just going to do a little test, okay? It'll go dark for a little bit. Might as well. I'm going to test something out. It's pretty cool. Might as well do it here while we're out. <laughs> oi, oi. Nah, just kidding. I um, I can do it off. Uh, I can do it offline anyway, so it's all good. Well, that is it. That was it. But I'll tell you what. I've got something to show you. If you do, you want to see the impact shots? Um, for those that are, um, I wanted to see it. The <laughs> 
I came all this way and I forgot to adjust the canvas because I had it on 720. So I don't know. So it was like, I don't know what happened there, but it doesn't matter. It's sorted. I hope you got to see it all, but I have recorded it all in 4K. Do you want to see the impact shots? Do you want to see the targets? Because I had a 600 mil. So just give me a second. I'm going to give you a little bit of a show. So the show's not over. So I've got the impact shots here that you're going to, you're going to like. I've got them on the TED cam. going to get you some of those impact shots. Tell you what's great is watching all those birds lag it. Bear with me, ladies, shirts, teddy bears. I'm going to get them on for you. One second, it's just uh, booting up. Yeah, there's 600 mil on that. Shit. I can hear it coming in. <laughs> I've never seen this before, like this, that close. That's nice. Come on, have a look at this. Check this out. This is nuts. It's still loading, so that's fine. Just watch this. That. Just watch this. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm just worried there's, uh, there's a few, uh, a few like, species that might not be just chilling out. Well, you know, part of the past, right? Okay. That's pretty cool, man. I've got that bang on. Yes, yeah, so I have. That's why I have that there, just because I can't, you know, it's like, do I get the, do I get the whole thing or do I get. Yeah. So I'm just going to whack it on the live now to set the boot up. That's pretty cool. What are you doing ending now? <laughs> yeah, just going to put that on, say goodbye. So, someone said, said this apparently. I literally said, I was, I was sitting indoors and I see it come up and I thought, yeah, I can make that in time. Uh, so. Hello. 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 H
Hello. Hello. Nice uh, badge. That's one of the new ones. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, Lake and Eve tomorrow and then Duxford on Saturday. Duxford, yeah. And then our plan, it's not live, I've got a special, uh, like, in, um, uh, we've got a special, like, um, evening, a uh, morning and evening and a special display to watch. Uh, Spitfire. Yeah. yeah. Let's bomb this on. Bird start legging it, and you know it's coming. Gents of Teddy Bears, have a look at this. Ladies and Teddy Bears, did you get to see the impact shots? I hope you did because it went a bit weird. Set them ladies, gents, teddy bears. I'm gonna head off home and get ready for Lake and Eve. Right, let's have a look here. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's been a funny one. I've learned loads of new tricks today. How are we doing? It is cold, man. <laughs> the uh, what a day. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a little bit different. Uh, apologies for some of the screenshots. I have recorded it in 4K anyway for you to enjoy later. So, uh, Ted and I are gonna get on with that. Um, that was very good. I hope you enjoyed those shots. They were pretty magnificent, weren't they? you got to admit. Um, well done, Ted. Ted did well on that. So thank you all so much. And, um, well, that's it for the, the show's over. And I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early, at RAF Lake and Eve. Oh, yeah. Guess what? For our Quick Climb Friday. Thanks, everyone, for your support today. It's been a long one, but a good one. Take care, ladies, and steady bears. Now, for the last time for tonight. Oh, yeah. See you later, everyone.
Hit it, Ted. Here we go.